Hey guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. This video is my grocery haul for the week in addition to our meal plan. For those of you following the Whole30 nutrition plan, everything I bought here is Whole30 compliant. If you've never heard of the Whole30 before, I'll include a link to their website below. All right, so this grocery haul is largely from Aldi, but I also bought a few items from our local health store that I will share with you as well. I bought some zucchini. I'll be using this to make uh, zucchini noodles with shrimp for tonight. Bought some mushrooms that I'll likely be using in omelets or stir fry. A couple of cantaloupes, some baby arugula lettuce that I'll probably use in lunches or as side dishes at dinner. Bought some cauliflower that will be a side to some baked whole chicken. Some mangoes. These definitely though need to ripen, but these were on sale. Also some unsweetened applesauce. I might actually wait till next week to use this, but uh, decided to pick it up while I was there. Some blueberries, two bunches of bananas, some avocados that also need to ripen. I'll probably be using those at breakfast. Little snacky foods for every now and then. So I bought some shelled pistachios, cashews with salt and pepper, and the freeze-dried strawberries. They also had freeze-dried peaches, but unfortunately they had added sugar. Bought a bag of organic gala apples. Those are my favorite. Some baby leaf spinach that I'll be including in lunches and in breakfast omelets. I also bought some prosciutto. I might wait till next week to use this. I'm not exactly sure. All this is is pork and salt. Bought some ahi tuna steaks. These are the ingredients on those. I might wait actually till next week to use these. We'll see what happens this week. A bag of large cooked shrimp, a whole chicken, some ground turkey, a couple dozen eggs, some baby carrots, and a big thing of the spring water. From our local grocery store, I bought a few items that will be staples in the cabinet. These are going to last me quite a while, especially this red boat fish sauce. This is only anchovies and sea salt. It is 100% pure first press extra virgin. For those of you who are Filipino, another word for this is patisse. A substitute for soy sauce. This is coconut aminos. I've talked about this before in past videos, especially regarding the Whole30. I put this in some dinners and sometimes on eggs in the morning. Some liquid smoke. I've seen a few recipes by the Whole30 call for this. These are the ingredients on the back. I finally was able to find ghee. I've been told that Kroger carries this, but for the life of me, I cannot find it. That will last me quite a while. Also bought some organic beets as well. All of these dishes are Whole30 compliant, but you don't need to be following that nutrition plan in order to enjoy them. Meal plan for the week starts off tonight with zoodles. Those are zucchini noodles with shrimp. I was given a veggetti for my birthday and that's how I'm going to make those zucchini noodles. I found something similar at Aldi actually today so I'm betting that would work just as well. Inside that dish will also be some lemon kale. My husband has some leftover rice from last week so in his and my daughter's dinner I'll be including this with rice and of course my dinner will just be the dish itself. Monday, Tuesday we'll have a baked whole chicken with cauliflower as a side. And I believe I have some sweet potatoes in the freezer that we can use that night. Usually with baked whole chicken, there's some leftovers on the bones that we get bored with. So some of that will be put into a shredded chicken ambrosia for Wednesday. And what that is, is basically celery, apples, a Whole30 compliant mayo. I might also include some grapes in there as well that were left over from last week and maybe a few other items. Thursday and Friday, I'll be splitting the ground turkey between these two days. Thursday is a stir fry made from snap peas and bell peppers that I have in the freezer. Friday will be an apple turkey mash. I have mentioned that before in past meal plan videos. And then Saturday, we'll either be going to Chipotle to have um, carnitas, or we'll be having some leftovers from this week. As far as modifying this menu for family members that are not following the Whole30, I would add 
um, some leftover rice to the zoodles like I had said earlier. Monday, Tuesday would be as is. They'd be totally fine with that plan. Wednesday, the shredded chicken ambrosia, that might be made into um, a sandwich or as a wrap. Thursday also could have some rice at the side. Uh, apple turkey mash, still eat that as is, or you could include rice with that as well. So that's it for the meal plan and the grocery hauls for this week. If you have any dishes that you've been loving lately, whether or not they're Whole30, please do let me know. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.